After a year of unprecedented economic and political turmoil and a change of regime, Sri Lanka has announced its first nationwide election. Local government polls will be held before the end of February. It is being seen as a litmus test for the 73-year-old president, Ranil Vikramasinghe. After Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled and resigned in the wake of widespread protests, Vikramasinghe, a six-time Prime Minister, won a parliamentary vote to replace Rajapaksa as president with the backing of Rajapaksa's party. But he does not enjoy a popular mandate. So why are these local polls significant? Prime Minister Vikramasinghe will gain the power to dissolve the current parliament when it completes half of its five-year term on the 20th of February. Could Sri Lanka witness a snap poll? This as the debt-ridden island nation waits for an IMF bailout package. Take a look at our next report. July 2022, when Sri Lanka teetered on the brink, throngs of protesters had occupied an area around the president's office for months. The Emerald Isle's worst economic crisis since its independence had hit hard. Mass unrest and protests culminated in the storming and occupation of the then president Gotabaya Rajapaksa's official workplace and residence, forcing him to flee the country. Six months on, multiple firsts. Sri Lanka announced its first elections. Local government polls that will be the first litmus test of which way the political winds will blow. They'll be the first election since Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled and resigned. The first test of popularity for his president, Ronald Vikramasinghe, and the first in a state of multi-dimensional crisis that will determine the political dynamics in Sri Lanka ahead. Vikramasinghe had won a parliamentary vote to replace Rajapaksa with the backing of Rajapaksa's SLPP party. But does he have the popular mandate? The timing is extremely critical too. On February 20th, Vikramasinghe will gain the power to dissolve the current parliament. But there's an indication that he wants to. A huge focus will be on the Rajapaksas and the SLPP and whether they have the public support to return. The political outreaches have picked up too, with the Rajapaksas wooing small parties for support. With the much-delayed local government elections finally on the cards, it is evident that the Rajapaksas are now making their presence felt in the run-up to the elections, which are due to take place in March. But all eyes will now be on the minority parties, more specifically that of the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, as well as the Tamil National Alliance, to see their stance, while the majority party, which is the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, headed by the Rajapaksas, are still confident that they can garner the confidence of the public in the upcoming election. Never in Sri Lanka's political history has something so small had potential and implications so big. The local government elections are known here as Punchi Chandaya or the mini election. The unit involved is of relatively modest size. Governments and national leaders don't change here. But in a country where there's no clear idea of what change is needed, Looking desperately for a $2.9 billion IMF bailout, these elections do give a definite political direction. This round ahead of provincial and general elections in 2024 could be as big as it gets for now.